as far as we can tell in the subatomic world, everything is just so ridiculously and frustratingly random. You look at an electron and sometimes you look at it and it'll have a spin pointing up. And the next time you look at it, it will have a spin pointing down. And you're like, can't you just pick one? Why do you have to be both? Why do you have to keep flipping back and forth? I'm Paul Sutter and this is Paul Explains the show where I, you know, explain. The whole machinery of quantum mechanics is designed to translate the probabilities of what you might measure when you go to make an observation. In the case of an electron spin, the language that we use in quantum mechanics goes something like this. The spin of the electron is in a superposition of both spin up and spin down states. And then when you go to measure it, something happens and it chooses one of those states and that's what you actually measure. But some of the founders of quantum mechanics didn't really like how this was being described. One of those people was Erwin Schrodinger, the, one of the founders of quantum mechanics. He looked at this example, this language, and developed a thought experiment to show just how lame this language is. He said, what if? You put a cat in a box, you close the lid, and you put some radioactive element in there. And just say that there's a 50-50 chance that the radioactive element will decay and will poison the cat and it will kill the cat. But there's a 50% chance that it won't decay, nothing bad will happen, and the cat will live. Now, as long as you have that box closed, you don't know what's gonna go on. You don't know if the cat is alive or dead. And then you open up the box, you perform your measurement, and you see either a dead cat or an alive cat. Classically, non-quantum mechanically, we would think that at some point the cat might or might not die, but our observation of it, our measurement of it, has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on inside the box. Either the cat is dead or it is alive, we just haven't found out yet. But Schrodinger pointed out that in quantum mechanics, the way we're supposed to think about it is that the cat is both dead and alive. It exists in the quantum superposition of deadness and aliveness. And when we open up the box, that is the moment of the choice. That is the moment of the cat becoming dead or becoming alive. But until we open up the box, it is both dead and alive. And Schrodinger said, this sounds really dumb. Do you actually expect us to believe this when it comes to quantum mechanics? And everyone else who was working on quantum mechanics said, yes. How do you wrap your mind around this? Well, maybe you don't have to. Maybe reality is just weird and we should leave the cats alone.